This one says it's an 8% convertible debt. Your head, you already know when something is convertible, that is a redeemable debt, right? So you should already know that you are going to calculate IRR. Trading, that's it, that's market value. Trading at how much? 106 Naira. This one is trading at a premium. That is an investor, which is a debt holder, is dropping 106 Naira for a debt written at 100 Naira, or that the face value is 100 Naira. So definitely, the cost of debt will be less than the coupon. That is the debt cost, that is the debt holder to require rate of return. This rate of return will definitely, you can kind of predict your answers, okay? So, 80% convertible debt, trading at 106 Naira, redeemable at par in three years' time. Redeemable at what? At par. That is, we redeemed at 100. Hmm? In three years' time. So, end is three years. Then it said the debt is convertible into 40 shares. That is, after the whole number of years, after the three years of the debt life, the debt holder can choose to convert to 40 shares hmm? in three years' time. Then it said the current share price, now, 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 is 2,950 combo. And it is expected to grow at the rate of 5%, especially in the to sell. So remember that I explained uh, convertible debt earlier, right? That the debt holder has the option to convert to cash or equity. Now, if he is looking at cash, he said it will be redeemed at par. He will give him back his cash at par. That's at 100 naira. Now, if he's converting at equity, this is just a little twist in this question. He will give you the value of the equity straight away. But now, these variables here, he's telling you to calculate this. And remember the formula for calculating that value of equity, convertible to equity value, is P into 1 plus G, raised to power N, raised to power N, and R. P is the price of the share. This is the rate at which it is growing. N is the number of years to conversion, and R is the number of shares in conversion. Very, very simple. So the market price per share was 2.5, 2 naira hmm? per cobble, growing at a rate of 5%. 5% is 0.05. Hmm? In how many years? Three years. Your R number of shares, that's 40. Punch out this on the side of calculator. Now, how do you start? Hmm? Punch out this into your calculator. So start from the bracket now. 1.05 raised to the power 3. That's 1.15 is multiplied by 2.5. Hmm? Multiplied by 40. So this will give us a value of 115.7. So if they are giving you cash, you get 100. But if it's equity, you get 115.7. Which one would you pick if you are the investor? Because we are doing this thing from the point of view of an investor. You will definitely go to 115. So if you 115.7, you need to estimate the cost of debt. Hmm? So when we are drawing our table, we are going to say redeemable at 100. You put redeemable at 115.7. So let's first here. Your little details that you write here, you have your cash flows, you have your discounting factor at 8%. Start from the coupon rate, 8%. You have your present values, then you have your discount factor at a higher discount. If you don't know, then you go higher or go lower. So you could go ahead and just say, so year 0, year 1 to 3, if you want to 5, if you want to 7, if you want to 10. Not because of using 3, 3, 3. Well, I think it's just 3, you know, then year 3, you can show you. So here, you drop the market value of the debt, which is 106. So in this one to three years, we'll pay interest. 8% times 100. We are paying 8 naira. Right? Don't forget to put your naira sign at all. In year three, we'll redeem. We won't redeem as cash, we'll redeem as higher. Because the rational person will pick redemption, right? As equity value. 115.7. Now, we discount. Discounting means you're trying to get present value, but you must multiply by a factor to get the present value. So let's get those factors. And now those factors, you need to guess the rate, but don't guess too much. Like, let us help your guessing. Just start from the coupon rate, you will guess the rest. Because when you just guess something, you don't guess fifty percent and put the <laughs> MVP at minus one million. Yes, so that's like it's just right. Start from the coupon rate. Right, so this would be 1.000 SFM has for year assumptions. This one will be check your admin table, cumulative discount factor, right? It will be 
1.08 raised power minus 3 1 minus answer divided by r divided by 0 0.08 so we have 2.577 hmm? then we get 3 of 1 point 0 0.08 raised power minus 3 and we have 0 0.794 hmm? get your db 106 times this will still give you 106 hmm? 8 times 8 yes Eight times. Another thing you can do is that as you are, your computer is giving you this value, you multiply it by this directly and put it here. Don't forget about uh, forget about all the numbers that is going after. Just multiply it. It's estimation. We are estimating something. So the answer is going to be the same for everybody. Two point five seven seven times eight. We have twenty point six two. Then one one five four. 115.7 times 0 0.794, we have 91.87. Does that make sense? Now let's get the MPB. 91.7 plus 20.62 equals minus 106. We have a positive MPB. See, 6.49. So look at, to get a negative MPB, we need to push our rate higher. You won't go too far, hmm? but not that you're not going to pick something like uh, 9% or 10%. So I just like to double. Let's just put that 16%. Hmm? Just double it. But this one, I'm sure that you get a negative MPV. I'm very sure because the, it's already this one, this six, because this 6.49 is already close to zero. So here will be 1.000. Here will be 1.16 raised power minus 3. 1 minus answer divided by 0.16 that will give you 2.246 mm? then the, for year 3 the standard is 1.16 raised power minus 3 and that will give you 0.641 now let's multiply this present values this will give us 106 this will give us 2.246 times 8 2.246 times 8 that gives you 17.9 17.97 and 0 0.641 times 115.7 that gives you 74.16 so mm, so let's get the MPB you cast you have your 17.97 Minus 106 minus 13. That's it, even very far. Minus 13.86. I'm ready for this negative so I can show you the MPV formula. You have all your variables, pick, pick, pick. You have all your variables, pick and put it to the formula. Lower discount to any I don't need to write that one. I just write 8% plus MPV related to that. 6.49 over 6.49 minus minus 13.86 into 16% minus 8%. How can you solve fast and beat time it's by practicing? So let's dismantle this rubbish. This will be 8% times what is here. So this is 6.49. Do the other first. 6.49 minus minus 13.86. That will be 20.36. Hmm? Then just say 6.49 divided by answer. You have an answer of 0 0.3 dollars. Multiply by 8%. You have 2.5. Add to 8%. 10.55%. So the cost of debt. So the cost of debt, KD, is 10.55%. So let's solve another question. Because you know, all these ones will be solved has only tested the dividend valuation model. So now let's test the capital asset pricing model. They won't tell you the exam that they are testing capital asset pricing model. They do that one based on the information you're given. Okay, so this question, I'll put it on the screen. This one is a lot. 
I'll be on the screen. Tetron Co is considering the issue of five million new of five million new debts at par with the maturity of three years. They said currently Tetron Co has a debt finance with a market value of ten million. So this is its current debt. That's a debt somewhere. The company is geared, that's debt currently. And it is due to mature in one year. This one will mature in one year. And they still want to collect five million and mature in three years from today. They said, um, Tetron is worried. Why would you be worried? They are worried that the extra debt will worsen the credit rating. Once you hear that credit rating, you already are talking of capping up, which I explained down earlier. Hmm? They are worried that it will worsen the credit rating from its current of AAA. You can see our question to worsen towards A. Now, they said the following details are also provided on the yield and credit risk premium. Right? They said the rating of AAA. They put it on that one year. They call it 10 basis points. Hmm? Then the rating of A. One year they gave it 60 basis points. Then under three years, this is already telling you that the three years one is for the new debts you want to collect. Okay, if the company is rated as AAA, it is 18 basis points, and once it falls to A, it is 75 basis points higher cost. The risk is higher, so the cost so should be higher, and the cost here is the minimum required rate of return. Now they give you the yield curve rate. This yield curve rate is like is a is a curve now, like an average of bonds that have similar maturities. So it's just the risk free rate. That's just what it means here. Risk free rate. Hmm? They gave it to you as 4.4% after one year, and they gave it to you as 5.5% after three years. Okay. So if you understand the capital asset pricing model of estimating cost of debt that you know the variables to use. Next I required A. Calculate the cost of existing debt based on the old and new credit rating. B. Calculate the cost of the new debt. So let's solve. Very simple. It's not even hard. So A that says calculate the cost of the existing debt. What is the existing debt? 10 million. Then based on the old and new rating. So existing debt. Based on what the old rating, the old rating is that the company is rated at this. This is what they are now. So the cost of debt, eh, under this method, capital asset pricing model is risk free rate plus credit risk premium. That is the rating of the company. Eh? And because the existing debt is a ten million debt rated at this, this is the basis point we use, right? So you will have this to be 10 basis points. I remember how I told you to convert, so it will be 0.1%. Then the risk free rate will be the yield curve rate or the risk free rate under one year. It's because you understand that you know what to pick. So you are picking 4.4%. Right? And 4.4% plus 0.1% will give you 4.5%. So this is the current. So this is the current cost of this company's debt, right? They say calculate it under the old rating and the new rating. And the new rating. So by the time they will move to new rating, that's when it worsens. Mm? After one year, that debt, the, 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 um, after one year, the risk, the rating of that company will have moved to 60 basis points. It will have moved to 0.6. Remember, I told you that once you have something like this, just say that value they gave you 10, put over 100, and put percentage beside I don't know why. That's just how it is done. 60 over 100, put percentage beside it. You understand? So 10 over 100 will give you what? 0.1, and your percentage is still beside it. Don't go and put 10 percent here, or it will change this thing to 14.4 percent, and it's not true. So this one will be. So with their new rating to be what 0.6% plus 4.4% now because existing debt is just one year to maturity. You can't go to three years, right? So you have four. I'm such a baby. So this is 
give you what? 5%. So the existing, so the existing debt of 10 million is telling you that their cost of debt under their current rating is 4.5%. When they worsen into the 5%, can you start? If your credit risk is worse, the cost of debt will be higher. That is, investors will require more returns on you, on your head. That makes sense. Now, let's go to the B part. The B says, calculate the cost of the new debt. Where is the new debt? 5 million naira. Cost, KD equals risk free rate plus credit risk premium. So, what is the risk free rate of the new debt? That is a debt that will mature in three years. These are the things guiding you. Hmm? All these parameters. A debt that will mature in three years. The risk free rate of such debt is what? The risk free rate of such debt is 5.5%. So you put that here, 5.5%. Now, what will be the credit risk premium? Hmm? What will be the credit risk premium? Like that? Definitely, it will be A. Because I thought it would take this debt, it should have worse thing. So you can't pick it at, you can't pick what is happening before. It's at 75 basic points, okay? So that would be 0.75%. Now, 5.5 plus 0.75%, that will give you, that will give you 6.25%. I want to press my calculator. So cost of debt will be 6.25%. You can see that the cost of debt is even still high right is high higher than this higher than this because why the rating has dropped so capital asset pricing model looks at the the risk the risk associated with those people that are collecting the debts as the debt issuer the company tetron 